So sometimes I get comments like this. Are there even luxury homes in the state of Michigan? Now, I'm gonna tell you right now, I love luxury homes. Who doesn't? I've rounded up the 10 most expensive home sales in Metro Detroit in 2023. We're gonna cover a couple crazy features of each one and the price reveal at the end of each one. My name is Mike Perna, local Metro Detroit real estate agent. I've been in the business for 24 years. I'd be honored to get the call to help you and your family find your next property, help you sell your current one. Whatever your real estate need is, I've got your back. Okay, so despite interest rates, luxury real estate in Metro Detroit broke record sales with 810 homes sold above a million dollars, up from 738 in 2022. Values in that bracket also moved up 4.4% to the highest levels ever. Usually the list of top sales include homes in Gross Point and Northville and Arbor and even large acre properties in like Genesee County. But this year, all 10 are in Oakland County. And for the first time, all 10 are above $4 million. Goes to show that luxury is still on fire here in Southeast Michigan. All right, let's dig in. So number 10 on the list, and this one's on Cranbrook and Bloomfield Hills right here. Gorgeous front drive up on this home. This guy is 7,515 square feet. It's on 2.45 acres. And my three favorite things about this home, first, the solarium. Wow, love that glass ceiling in the palm trees, and it gives it that Caribbean look, kind of year round vibe. The basement has a music room, and finally the backyard. Most luxury homes in this range do have a pool, but the acreage keeps this pool private. It's got a built-in hot tub and a built-in grill. This one went for 4.2 million. Number nine on the list, Willow Lane in Birmingham. Going from country to a city setting on a third of an acre, Great Lakes Custom Homes shoehorned in 6,000 square foot of home with a four car garage colonial in Corton Lakes Estates. My favorite features, let's start with this walk-in closet and built literally the size of my bedroom at home. The finished basement has a full kitchen, temperature controlled wine cellar, and then finally the kitchen itself. Honestly, I do not like the choices that they made here, but I cannot dispute the quality. It's a bit much for me, honestly. This one sold at 4.25 million. Number eight on the list is Club Drive in Bloomfield. This is one of my favorites on the list overall. If the 7,500 above ground square footage is not enough for you, there's another 4,900 finished square feet in the basement. I can literally fit my house in the basement a couple of times, but the best part's the windows and the water view. The builder clearly worked hard to capture that from as many rooms as possible. This place has a lot of marble, a ton of hardwood, and frankly, I like the basement bar better than the upstairs kitchen. Let me know what you guys think in the comments about that one. All for the low, low price of $4.3 million. Number seven, Shore Drive in the village of Orchard Lake. Here's a super unique house, modern lakefront with 217 feet of frontage on over two acres with a tennis court, but it's so dated. Oh my God, this thing is so dated. So this is something that could have popped up on like Zillow Gone Wild and it probably did. Its draw is the Frank Lloyd Wright-esque back of the house, bringing the outside in, but I believe someone's gonna put probably 750,000 or a million into it and we'll see this thing looking amazing again. Final price, 4.35 million. Quick plug, looking for a home in Metro Detroit. We do have a luxury division of specialist agents and agents that live in every community in Metro Detroit. We're Michigan's number one team and it's because we always have our clients back getting the best deal and providing the smoothest possible transaction. Also, if you're considering a career in real estate or looking to make a brokerage change, let's talk confidentially and see if we're a good fit to partner together. Number six, okay, okay. One of my favorite homes in Birmingham came on the market this year, right on Euclid, right near the heart of downtown Birmingham. I love these black windows, the blue kitchen with the gold accents. Not sure about that mirror in the half bath. It kind of reminds me of like a Perfect Circles album cover maybe a little bit. Looking down the stairs, the black and white tile is a bit Tim Burton-esque, great pool and hot tub, love the glassed out office. You definitely know if the person in there is working or like fiddling around on YouTube, which would probably be me or probably is me too much of the time. For real, all the black and white in the house, I feel like this would be a great house to decorate for Halloween, but kind of hard on Christmas. This one went for a cool 4.4 million. Number five, Apple Lane and Franklin. Now this one kind of feels like the homes on the street and home alone a bit if they were on about an acre and not packed in as close. 6,300 square feet, love the five car garage, scope out that long fireplace. I've always wanted one of those. I don't have one, I want one. Maybe one day I'll get one. Usually I say, who needs a pool when you've got a lake? But this one has a pool and it's actually a nice one too. This one settled out at just 4.418 million, just scraping past Euclid by $18,000. Number four, Hawthorne in Franklin Village. Almost 3.5 acres, over 18,000 living square feet. It's big. It has an indoor pool, it has an outdoor pool has a built-in hot tub. This view here is what I imagine like a French or an Italian villa would look like overlooking a vineyard. The house Captain Picard probably bought, maybe. Yep, my inner nerd kind of came out on that one. Tennis court, check. Cool side path, check. 
and an elevator. And of course there's an elevator. Why wouldn't there be an elevator? Jumping deep into the fives at 5.8 million. Number three, the newest build by far on the list, Edgemere in Bloomfield built in 2021, the closest thing to a new build. Love that it's a ranch. I'm a sucker for ranches. 6.1 million out the door. Before we get to number two, we drop new content each and every week. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button, hit the like button so more people can see this video and on with the show. Number two on the list, this one's on West Valley in Bloomfield, is the actual only new build on the list. And I wish I got to see it when it was done. Six bedrooms, 7.1 bathrooms, four car garage, and not a lot else to go on because I don't really have any finished pictures. I'm definitely gonna have to drive by this one, knock on the door and see if the owner lets me in. I've totally done that before. 6.850 million cold hard cash. Number one, we made it. Okay, now this home 100% gives me the end of National Treasure vibes. Yeah, that home. Martell Drive in Bloomfield, and it went multiple offer, selling 100,000 over asking. Pool in the backyard, tennis in the front. This house reminds me a lot of like a mullet, party in the back, business in the front. No interior photos, they took them all down, but a quick flip through an old listing and it was showing dated. The rumor is the last owner put over two and a half million into just the reno alone. I'll have to knock on the door on this one too. This one sold at 10.1 million dollars. There it is, our class of 2023 highest priced home sales in Metro Detroit. Hit the subscribe button. We cover everything going on in Metro Detroit and we are here to help you find your next home in Metro Detroit. Call, email, text, send a carrier pigeon anytime and I will see you on the next video.